There are two approaches to improve your performance in study – management and method. Management helps you to organize your work – what time is best to work, how to distribute your workload, how to manage your time, notes, etc. Many books have been written on this subject. Usually I advise reading primary sources rather than any other popular simplified retellings. For example, Claude Crawford's The Technique of Study, published in 1928. It's not easy to find, so maybe you will have to go to a library, but the book is worth it. In some ways, management solutions are easier to implement. Still, at the same time, they are not universal and may not help, especially if you have some difficulties in understanding the material. On the other hand, the method provides meaningful solutions to improve your study techniques. Today we are going to talk about these principles of learning. The first principle is working with critical functions. Mastering and understanding the field should begin by identifying the critical function of the system you are working with, and then you need to explore how the rest of the system helps to imply it. In engineering, this approach is also known as value engineering, and I strongly recommend reading Techniques of Value Analysis and Engineering by Lawrence Miles. We may make up a video on system analysis if you are interested, just write in the comments below whether you would like us to do that or not. Let's take a look at an example. In the first section of the value added reading course, the main thing is to learn how to distinguish the source material. We discussed it in the video on concentrated books. So we do not assess whether the author's facts are right or wrong. We work with the logical structure of the text and check whether it meets the criteria of the source material. All the rest at this stage is secondary. The second principle is comparison of different people's viewpoints on the same issue. It's beneficial to consider the opposing ones. The benefit is that you will gain a full understanding of the issue than if you knew about only one point of view. <laughs> and this understanding gives you something new to say about the issue. Here's one example. Let us consider the approach of Aristotle, an apologist of the deductive method deducing consequences from axioms, and Francis Bacon, an apologist of the inductive method formulating laws based on observation of many particular instances. Aristotle wrote almost nothing about induction, and Francis Bacon nearly nothing about deduction, considering it a very secondary science. In the scientific method, however, the two approaches are always combined. Inductive reasoning makes it possible to formulate a general law or hypothesis, and deductive reasoning makes it possible to develop many of its consequences, including those critical for testing the hypothesis. The third principle is to reproduce the material by yourself. There are various ways of doing that. You may write a summary, draw a diagram, or even try to teach someone else uh, what you have learned. The point of this approach is that it helps to remove the illusion of understanding. I think many of you are familiar with it. For example, when you are preparing for math exams, you read a theorem, understand its proof, and quickly retell the proof in your head. However, in the actual exam, you have to put it in a written form. At that moment, important details have disappeared from your memory and you have no idea about the proof. So, when preparing for exams, the most difficult points are effectively trained by writing it down. The fourth principle is to arrange the material into different categories related to our task. But sometimes, mainly when we have gathered a massive amount of information, it becomes challenging to select the material and choose a proper category. The most straightforward example will be dividing actions into mistakes and solutions. That is, to tell you what you should do when solving a problem and what not. Alas, people often make the mistake of grouping material according to their stereotypical ideas. They forget about the initial task and select everything according to whether they like one or another idea or whether it meets their expectations or not. For example, you can describe biotechnologies by simply listing them. What is GMO, DNA, genome, CRISPR-Cas9 and so on. But you can also look at biotechnology in terms of the problems it can solve. For example, curing genetic diseases, enhancing the protective properties of vegetables, increasing yields, etc. The fifth principle is synthesis. For example, to formulate a one-line recommendation out of a paragraph of a text, or develop a set of recommendations from a book, or develop a strategy based on hundreds of recommendations. It's not easy. In my experience of running the value added reading course, I can say that participants name the topic of the collected material rather than derive a principle out of it. Roughly speaking, participants say that all collected examples are about falling bodies instead of deducing the law of gravity. 
as uh, this is not a simple intellectual skill, it needs to be practiced regularly. And why should it be done? Very simple. The principle makes it possible to formulate many particular solutions. An example of a simple principle relating to behavior regulation is limited credibility. This means that we do not allow to break the rules infinite times, for instance, on the road. If you make three serious infringements within a year, you, your driving license will be taken away. This principle can be implemented in many different ways. In conclusion, I will remind you of one way of learning that combines most of these principles. This method is making a summary of a good classic book. Watch the video by the link for the details. So the key to effective learning is to work with critical functions, compare different positions and transform the material by retelling, regrouping or synthesis. If you want to know more about professional development principles and strategies, check out the other concentrated videos on the channel and wait for the next video. Thank you.